Hello everyone. Welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. Today we are going to learn about scatter plot, bubble plot and dot plot. So before proceeding with some practical example, let us understand what is the purpose of these charts. Let's start with scatter plot. So a scatter plot displays the relationship between two numerical variables and what is bubble plot a bubble plot is a variation of scatter plot and it displays the relationship among three numerical variables where this third additional variable represents the size of the bubbles okay that means the bubble plot is a variation of scatter plot now what is dot plot a dot plot is also similar to a bubble plot and a scatter plot but instead of numerical data we use categorical information in the x axis that means scatter plot is relationship between two numerical variables that means we need minimum two numerical variables to display a scatter plot a bubble plot is a variation of scatter plot where we need three numerical variables and where in the dot plot we need one categorical information in the x axis instead of a numerical variable let's see some practical example so for that i am going to input some sample data from this power bi desktop only first create one new page go to this help file example sample data set load this sample data select this financial information and click on this now your table is ready for the analysis okay let me expand this table so let's start with the scatter plot just select this scatter plot make it little bit bigger from here select this sales value and the profit value so here you can observe we have different type of section values x axis y axis legend size all those things okay now i have selected this profit and this sales two numerical information but i am getting only one dot so it is not scattered way let me click on this and click on don't summarize similar way here also you need to click don't summarize that means whenever we are going to display any scatter plot we should remove any type of aggregation rules okay here we don't have any color variation or anything that means we don't have any categorical type of information so we have this legend section let us add this for example i can add this segment now you can see by default this segment is added in the value section and we are getting some error so here just you need to drag and drop to this legend section now your data is displayed in a scattered way as well as data has been segmented in a different type of segment now this is a simple scatter plot let us see what are all the things it has in the formatting section in the formatting section here we have different type of markers also we have category level if you want you can enable this one also and all this value will be displayed but we don't want to display those values if you want you can change this x axis y axis property okay let us see here we are getting analytics section which is also enabled for this scatter plot 
just click on this in the analytics section you will get this four type of options trend line x axis constant line y axis constant line and symmetry shading now what is this trend line let me enable this one now you can observe one diagonal line is visible so what is trend line a trend line is a straight line that best represents the points of a scatter plot that means this trend line is used to show the pattern of the data now if you want you can add this x axis constant line y axis constant line everything here we have another feature symmetry shading let me enable this one now what is this symmetry shading this symmetry shading is a new analytics feature in power bi it represents the higher values of x axis compared with the y axis measure value and vice versa that means from this shaded manner we can find out the x axis and y axis value or measure comparison now our scatter plot is ready let us proceed with bubble plot for that i'll just copy this scatter plot and create another page and control v so for that let me remove the symmetry shading and trend line from this chart i'm just going back to this visual section and you know for the bubble chart we need another numerical information in the size section so i am going to add this discount here you can observe size of this bubbles are changing so if you can observe here we have aggregation rule that means for a bubble chart we should have three numerical variables but in the x axis area we are not applying any aggregation rule in the y axis area also we are not applying any aggregation rule but in the side section we should have aggregation rule now if you want you can change the formatting here just go to this format visual and in the marker area so if you want you can change the bubble area also just to make it to 7 okay now this bubble size has been changed let us go back to this visual section again and here also we can observe i have already used that segment value in the legend area now our bubble chart is ready here also our analytic section is enable just go to this analytic section here also you can find out x axis constant line y axis constant line and symmetry shading in the similar way let me show you another variation of this bubble chart just control c and control v okay i'm just making little bit shorter this graph and here also now here you can observe if i move this segment information to this value i'm getting error just put some aggregation rule in the x axis and in the y axis you can observe i don't have any error that means if we are going to use this value section we should put some aggregation rule in the x axis as well as in the y axis here we have the data for the segment channel partners for that sales value profit value and the discount value so here bubble size is also representing the discount value only now if you want to see another variation in this type of bubble chart just go to this analytic section and you can observe where in this bubble chart we have only three options are there x axis constant line y axis constant line and symmetry shading but here we have more options to display the analytical information 
okay so your bubble chart is ready let me show you how we can represent the dot plot now for the dot plot i am going to create another page here and just go back to page 2 select the first bubble plot control c and control v so you have this bubble plot for dot plot we know we need one categorical information in the x axis so i will remove this cells value and i will add this country information in the x axis so we are getting an error for that what you need to do just go to y axis change this to some aggregation rule now your dot plot is ready but it looks like a bubble chart just go to the format section marker and change this to some dot your dot plot is ready where your x axis information is the country information that means is a categorical information in the y axis you have profit level information and and here we applied aggregation rule also in the legend section you have this segment and in the size of this dot you are adding discount information so your dot plot is ready now let us see what all the things are available in the analytics section just go to this analytics section and you can find out this y axis constant line because in the x axis we don't have any numerical information so obviously we are not getting any constant line mean line max line average median percentile and we don't have any symmetry shading also because we know this symmetry shading is a comparison between x axis highest point with the y axis point in this dot plot if you want to add some median line just add this line and for example if you want to add some average line you can add that too if you want to on this data level here you can do that for the median level also you can do some changes so in this way you can create some scatter plot you can convert this scatter plot to a bubble plot and if you want you can convert this bubble plot to a dot plot i hope from this video you got some idea how scatter plot bubble plot and dot plot can be implemented in power bi if you need this working file just go to the description section and you will get the file if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and share with your friend thank you thanks for watching